first grade. Today we're going to take a look at our first lesson in chapter 7, and this lesson is called Add-ins and Sums. To review here, we're going to go ahead and start by looking at our number line. So you can see my number line here starts at 0, and it continues. We're going to go ahead and practice counting by 1s, again starting at 0. So I want you to go ahead and count with me. Remember on the number line, as we move to the right, our numbers get bigger. So let's go ahead and count by ones. We're gonna start at zero. Right, we can show our hops to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, good. Now we're gonna go ahead and start at 20. This time we're gonna go ahead and count backwards. Ready to count with me? 20, 19, 18, 17, 16, 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, three, two, one, zero. Good. So we know we can count forwards by ones or backwards by ones, right, up to the number 20. Next thing, let's go ahead and practice counting by twos. So when we count by twos, we start at zero. Right? We don't count the one, but we're going to go ahead and skip to the next number, which would be two. So we're gonna go from zero to two. What would my next number be? Good, four. Next, I would jump to, good, six. Next, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. So when we jump, count by twos, right, we're skipping our numbers in between and we're jumping to the next number. Numbers like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20, we say those are all even numbers, right? So let's count by twos, ready? Starting at zero, zero, two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, and 20. Good job, I was counting by twos. Now let's try counting by fives. So let me go ahead and erase this. Okay. So when we start and we count by fives, we set our pattern to count by fives is when we start at zero, we're gonna jump to our first number, which would be five. When we go to our next number counting by five, that would be 10, right? We said our pattern is we end in a five, zero, and so we repeat five, zero. What would our next number be? Good, we would count to 15. So we have our five, next is gonna end in a zero, which would be, right, 20. Good job. Let's go ahead and count by fives. Five, 10, 15, and 20. Good job, first grade. So today, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at add-ins and sums. And our add-ins are the numbers that we add together, and our sum is the answer we get when we add. If I have four, plus one, okay, hmm. four plus one. We can see here the four and the one is what we call our add-ins, right? Those are the two numbers that we are adding together. What would my sum be? What is the answer I get when I take four plus one? Good, that is the number five. So we could say five is our sum. I have a question for you now. 
what if I would take 1 plus 4? What would that equal? Do you notice anything similar? Right, when we look over here, we have our addons are 4 and 1. And in this example, we have our addons of 1 and 4. So our addons are the same, they are just in different order. So if I know that 4 plus 1 is equal to 5, what would 1 plus 4 be equal to? Good, right, that would also be 5. Let's take a look here at our part, part, whole model. So remember, we have our part, part, whole number. We can show that we're taking two parts, joining them together to get our whole. Same with over here. We would take our part, part, join our two parts together to get our whole. So in this first example here, what are my two parts? What two parts am I adding together? Right, those would be our add-ins of four and one. And we know our total, which will be our sum would be five. Good. Over here, what would my parts be? My add-ins, again, they're gonna be the one and the four. And our whole, or our sum would be five. So when we look here at this, just tells us that when we are adding four plus one, that equals five. We can say that that is also the same as one plus four. All right, when we talk about our switcheroo facts, four plus one, our switcheroo fact would be one plus four. So anytime you have the same two add-ins, right, a four and a four, a one and a one, the sum is always the same, or we can say those are equal to the same thing. Okay, good job. Go ahead and erase this. So when we take a look here at another example, so if I have six plus two, now I want to think about what that equals. Okay. To show what that equals, right, there's different ways we can look at it. We can picture it, right, we can show our work. So one of the things that we can do is we can draw our pictures to go along with this. So if I have, right, my number six, I can show six circles. And then I'm gonna have my two circles. I'm gonna do them here, hopefully this red will work. So now that I picture my add-ins, right? My add-ins are the six and the two. When I picture my add-ins, I can count them all together now. What would my sum be? What is six plus two? If you said eight, right, you are correct. When we look there at the six plus two equals eight. That is what we call an equation, right? An equation is just kind of, that's the math word for what we call a number sentence, right? Just like when reading, when we're reading a sentence, a sentence starts with a capital letter, it ends with a period, right? It is a complete thought. In math, we have number sentences. And for our number sentence to be complete in math, we have to have one side equal to another side, right? So this is an example of a, an addition sentence or a number sentence. This is also called an equation. And when you look at this word equation, right, the beginning of it kind of looks like this word equal, right? And this is our equal sign. So an equation 
has to have an equal sign saying that two different things are equal, two different things are the same. Okay, so going back here to our equation, right, six plus two equals eight. What does this addition sign tell us? What did we have to do to get our sum? Right, when we add, we are joining together two numbers to find the total or to find the sum. So in six plus two, what two numbers are we joining together? Right, we are joining together the six and the two, and we know that our total or the sum would be eight. What about now, if I leave that one there, what about if I would take, let's picture this next one here. What if I would have two red circles and then I would have six black circles? Who can give me the equation that is pictured here, right? And thinking of back to our beginning of the lesson right, with our switcheroo fact, this would be the same as two plus six. And if we look up here, if we know that six plus two equals eight, what would two plus six be equal to? Right, that would also be eight. And we know that is true because our add-ins are the same, right? We have the six and the six, the two and the two. So that is why our sum is the same. That's why it is eight in both of them, right? It is the same add-ins being joined. They are just in a different order. So that is something that we call when we add, that is called the order rule, right? So this rule just tells us that it doesn't really matter what order you add. Six plus two is going to be equal to, or is going to be the same as two plus six, right? Our switcheroo facts, no matter what order we add, we're always going to get the same answer. Okay. If we will look at our part, part, whole model that will go along with these equations here. What would our parts be? Right, we would have, if we go back and look at our add-ins, we would have two our other part would be six, and our whole would be eight. And using this part, part, whole number, there are the two different equations that we can write to go along with that part, part, whole model. Okay. Let me go ahead and erase this here and take a look at one more example. Okay, so if I have nine plus three, those are my add-ins, and I want to figure out the sum, right? I want to figure out the answer I get when I add nine plus three. So let's go ahead, we can draw a part, part whole model. So what two numbers would go here for my parts? Right, when we look here, our add-ins are, good, nine and the three. So now, 
we just need to figure out our sum. We need to figure out our whole. What do we get when we join 9 plus 3? So let's go ahead and draw circles to figure that out. So if I have 9, and then I'm going to add 3 more. Okay, so I know this is 9. Let's count on 9, 10, 11, 12. What would the sum be for 9 plus 3? If you said 12, you are correct. So what number would go here? Right, that's the same as our sum, right? So the number 12. Can you tell me the other equation that would go along with our part, part, whole, or 9 plus 3 equals 12? Think about our order rule, our switcheroo fact. If you said 3 plus 9 equals 12, right, you are correct. So we know that 9 plus 3 equals 12. Thinking about our order rule and our switcheroo fact, I know that 3 plus 9 equals 12. I see that pictured here on my part, part, whole number. Right, so this is my equation. What other equation would be true? If I know 9 plus 3 equals 12, I know 9 plus 3 is also equal to, right, our order rule or switcheroo is equal to 3 plus 9. Okay, first grade, like I said, that was just a quick introduction here to our lesson. We're going to go ahead and we will take a look at the work text page that goes along with this lesson tomorrow. So like I said, if you have any questions after watching this video, make sure you go ahead and send me an email or a message and I'll be glad to help you. But if not, like I said, we'll go ahead and continue working with this lesson tomorrow. Good luck, first grade. Keep working hard.